Welcome to my channel guys. So this video is going to be my review of the 2009 slasher film The Hills Run Red. And this movie deals with a subject that I really like in my horror movies which is a cursed film. Well not exactly cursed in this movie like no type of a supernatural curse but I think that you can still kind of call it a cursed film. I'm really fascinated for some reason by this thing in movies where it deals with like the characters trying to track down a film that is either going to kill you if you watch it or drive you insane. I don't know why but I always just find that trope and horror movies to be really fascinating and whenever I hear that the movie deals with a subject matter like that of course I will definitely have to watch it. So in this movie the main character Tyler he is absolutely obsessed with this obscure horror film called The Hills Run Red that supposedly came out years ago and was so violent and gory and disturbing that it was actually pulled from the movie theaters and all of the known reels of this movie were destroyed while the director of this movie, which was his first and only movie ever, had disappeared without a trace. So the movie now has like this legendary reputation about how horrifying it is without anybody that lives that has actually seen it. But Tyler has recently found a way for him to track this movie down so he sets out on this journey with a couple of his friends and they travel into those like abandoned backwoods kind of little town in order to find this film and finally watch it. Of course, eventually horrible things are going to happen to them. So this movie gave me a very strong vibes of the John Carpenter's cigarette burns. I mean, to be honest, I'm not even gonna lie, at times it felt like this movie was like a ripoff of cigarette burns in some ways and I mean I'm not gonna say sit here and say for sure that it was a ripoff of cigarette burns but at the same time the director of the hills run red he had to be at least partially inspired by that uh, episode of masters of horror because it definitely is a whole lot of similarities there I believe this was like a straight to DVD kind of slasher film and for what it's worth I thought that it was actually pretty good it was actually shot pretty well, a lot better than I expected it to look. Even though it's definitely low budget, it didn't have like that completely run-of-the-mill low budget look to it that I expected this movie to have. I mean, it didn't exactly look rich neither, but it looked a lot better than I was expecting it to look. And I do feel like this one actually stands out from a whole bunch of other slasher flicks out there. This one actually kept me engaged in the story itself and not just waiting for the kills. Like, the story itself was definitely interesting and the pacing of this movie was pretty good as well for the most part. And I definitely enjoyed, like, the build-up until the main events of the movie, all of that stuff was was actually really interesting. Granted the characters themselves not so much though. I didn't like any of the characters. I didn't find any of the characters to be particularly interesting or anything special but I would say that the main character Tyler's drive to find this film I could definitely relate to and I could definitely relate to his obsession and I could definitely see where he was coming from not even gonna lie if a movie like that really existed in real life I would really want to see it too okay and the acting was pretty okay. Like when I started watching the movie at first, I thought that the acting was kind of horrible. But then, I don't know, either it grew on me or maybe the actors got better as the movie progressed or whatever the, the case may be. But I started off not liking the actors in this movie. But actually, as the movie progressed, I thought that they were pretty okay. And the two that stood out to me the most were Sophie Monk that plays the character Alexa and the actor William Sadler who plays the director of this obscure movie that they all try to track down and apparently this actor he is kind of famous people know him from like other movies I personally have not seen him in any other movie that I can remember of but yeah apparently he's supposed to be kind of famous this movie didn't have any particularly good or interesting visuals but certain scenes in there definitely did have potential for that that probably was not really realized but the potential was definitely there. Now obviously it's a slasher film so I feel like the slasher films 
We watched for the kills, and as far as the kills in this movie were concerned, they were pretty alright. I mean, they were kind of a hit or miss for me. Some of the kills were generic, but some of the kills were really creative, and all of the gory scenes in this movie were pretty well done. I would say that the blood maybe looked a tad bit too red. To me, like, no blood looks re that red now. That looked kind of unrealistic, but other than that, I thought that the, all of the gory scenes in this movie were pretty good and it's like not a whole lot of gore in this movie at least i expected it to be like a lot more most of the gore is saved for the final act of the movie but when it does happen i thought that it was pretty impressive and there are actually some pretty interesting revelations about certain cast members of this movie later on in the movie some pretty interesting stuff there and some pretty nasty and disgusting stuff as well involved the actual killer in this movie the baby face killer he was alright. I mean, that mask on him, it kind of looked like something I've seen before. I can't think right now on the top of, off the top of my head which movie I've seen that from before, but it looked very similar to some other um, slasher movie, killer mask or whatever, so I guess it wasn't very original, but I still like the killer. And again, like his backstory was pretty creepy in this movie and pretty nasty, actually, when you find out what he is and who he is. I also thought, think that this movie grabs your attention right from its opening scene, which is pretty messed up and pretty effective. And that's pretty important, I feel like, for a horror movie to really have an opening sequence that pulls you in. And this one definitely pulled me in. Now, I would say that when the movie does get to the whole slasher part of it, to the whole killing part, that part of the movie feels very rushed to me, and there's a lot of dumb stuff that starts happening in there as well, so the movie is kind of let down by it, and it's only like, the movie's running time is only 82 minutes long, and I feel like in this case, they could have actually afforded to make it a bit longer, so that they could work out the final act of the movie a little bit better, as it is, it was just like really, really, really rushed. Like, they could have did that part of the movie a lot better. There was also some weird editing choices in the beginning of the movie like there was that that whole sequence where one character was shown to be getting a lap dance at the strip club while two other characters were having sex and those two scenes for some reason were edited like together and I didn't really understand the point of that other than the movie was just trying to be gratuitous and, and have an excuse to show some boobs or something but it is what it is I know that there are certain audience members that would like to see stuff like that so i guess that was done for y'all now this movie has two endings there is like an actual ending and then there is like a past credits um ending scene and both of those were actually pretty messed up even if not very very original but yeah it was some messed up stuff there and then there were even also moments where it felt like the movie was kind of poking fun at itself and of other similar movies of that genre where one of the characters is telling the others how what they are doing is very typical of how people get killed in those types of horror movies. And I actually thought it was kind of fun and clever how the movie pointed that out, which told me that the movie wasn't taking itself, like, too seriously. Overall, I thought that it was a pretty fun movie to watch as far as slasher flicks are concerned and i would give this movie a six and a half out of ten so thank you guys for watching like this video if you enjoy my reviews subscribe to my channel all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next video okay bye